He threatened to take away the child, to kill one or even all of us. Now we fled completely. In case he would eventually read this comment, I can't even say what country I am in now. You can attach meaning to your life, but that meaning is yours and yours alone. It's not objective. It's not an absolute. What is up guys, John Killingsworth here. I thought I'd make you a video today where I answer your questions. For this series, I thought I'd make sort of a breakdown of manipulative relationships, how to identify whether it's toxic or not, how do I put a boundary with that person in particular, stuff like that. Well, let's get into it. This guy called Adolf Trump really hates my ass. So that's a long one. Let's read it from Golem, Mr. Golem 1996. Thanks a lot, by the way. I really appreciate your comments. Very supportive of you. So thanks a lot. The story starts about three years ago when my mom got to know a person. Let's call him Peter. He's such a narcissistic person. You could not make this shit up but with, but as it is with such people, in the beginning, you think they're okay and the others like his ex-wife were constantly trying to destroy his life. She is not a good character either, but she was married a whole 20 fucking years with this guy. She is another story. Okay. Uh, well, one day my mom got behind the fact that he is mistreating her, my mom, emotionally, but I think, but I didn't notice. He used me and my brother as weapons against my mom. My brother was the bad guy and I was the good guy. Luckily for me, that's why I did not notice anything wrong for almost two years. My brother, meanwhile, was thinking about suicide. My mom, too. The worst part is they had a child. He threatened to take away the child, to kill one or even all of us. He threatened many times. Now we fled completely because our country doesn't really have the power to change something. In case he would eventually read this comment, I can't even say what country I am in now. But our new country took us as refugees, so we are safe. Okay, my problem is now, I am 21 years old, but I, because of the situation, have to live with my mom. We can't afford therapy or anything. We aren't really rich. We are in a completely new country. Language is difficult, culture, everything. I honestly want to move and make my own life, but my conscience... My conscience tells me to stay and help my mom. This situation is really fucked up and it makes me depressed and I tried everything. I know you could try, but honestly, I still am depressed. You can't imagine what I'm currently living through, but maybe you can help nonetheless. We did not do anything illegal. We had luck that we had the chance to flee and I won't do anything illegal in the near future. All I want to know is how should I act in my current situation? Let's get a bit in the details of the entire thing. So he said that, first of all, um, this person called Peter, right? Fake name, I'm guessing. A recurring pattern with toxic relationship is that they attract more toxic relationships. The most toxicity, the reason why someone is narcissistic, for example, or manipulative is because that's what they've learned. Their parents were narcissistic and the only way to get away with that manipulation was to manipulate back, to be toxic back. So it's kind of this vicious cycle here, right? So this is what's been happening here. And uh, his ex-wife, they were together for 20 years. You know, you know, after a certain amount of years, if you break up with a person you've been with for 20 years, I don't think it'll ever go away. Because you've spent that so much time together, like 25 to 30% of your entire life. And if it was really broken for 20 years, um, the chances of that person having a good relationship are very slim. Especially if it's been for that long. Um, not to put your hopes down, but hey, if it's been that long, it's going to be extremely difficult for the next relationship to be a happy, fulfilling one. So when you encounter those types of people anyone just like run away this is not for you okay if 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 let's say a beautiful girl uh, wants to be in a relationship with you and all her past relationships were toxic beware be really careful so anyways uh random t tangent here so you know when someone wants something in a relationship 
and uh, you know they want to get their way and they don't have the power right now they might use other people uh, as a means of achieving what they want so for example right there he used him and his brother as weapons against his mom so like you know trying to take the two kids to take his side against his mom right and sometimes it happens in family disputes where the couple is having a dispute so they're trying to rally the children to go on their side uh, it's a common thing but anyways enough about this relationship first of all with all this situation uh see it as something good you set a boundary you're in a new country right now and this toxic person is far away you're 21 years old which means you're pretty young you can start a new life think about it you're in a new country as a refugee it doesn't matter whatever you, your situation is you can start a new life that's amazing from scratch even if the language is difficult even if it's hard to like afford therapy because it's because it's expensive or whatever and uh, you want to move and make your own life right but at the same time you want to help your mom and even if you're repressed as you said uh, in your comment you have a new environment so it's perfect to start over again no matter how hard it is right now you know if therapy is expensive um what you can do for free is self-development right like what is this entire channel about so self-development is complementary to let's say professional help but i think it can really help you out if you take the time each day to meditate journal as i talk about on my channel you know go through the self-development process process the negative emotions that you're having this past resentment about this person who are trying to destroy you right and i'm sure your mom is feeling just as you know horrible or it's probably even the worst for your mom because you know she was into that guy you know this comment is a lot about this other person and i understand where you're coming from wanting to analyze this entire um you want to put it out there but I think the focus now, now that you've now that you've set the boundary, it's time to move on uh, from that. Never get too clingy on the past because the past will hold you back like some weight on your shoulders that you don't even need to carry. This person is gone. Once you've set the boundary that you don't want to see them in your life ever again, then you can start a new life from scratch. What should you do, right? Well, since you're young right now, you know, find out what you want out of life. You know, if you're depressed, it's kind of vague of a um, definition. But what exactly does that mean to you to be depressed? What's lacking in your life? Is it um, usually depression comes from, you know, lack of fulfillment, lack of friendship, loneliness, um, repressed anger. And there's so many root causes of depression. I'd say try to pin it down. You know, you say this situation is is making me depressed and you've tried everything. Well, what is that everything exactly? Try to write it down in, you know, in as much detail as you can. What have you tried to, you know, make yourself feel better? And what is what is exactly are you depressed about? Is it, let's say, the lack of a father figure? Maybe that could be it. Being paranoid that he's going to find you and want to do something with you. Or maybe it doesn't have to do with the relationship. Maybe it's... A lack of fulfillment because you were so focused you know you were so stressed out about this relationship that you had no time for yourself and now you left empty and you don't have any time for yourself maybe it's a lack of uh, affection from your mother because your mother was not here enough for you because she was always busy trying to dodge this toxic person you have to pin it down yourself so that is my best advice to you pin it down uh, yourself as detailed as you can i think that's the first stepping stone as a bonus you're in a new city now so what should you do explore the city to find what you're passionate about find what you're what makes you feel fulfilled so me for example i found that making those videos helping others uh, by leading people to the truth is what makes me happy makes me fulfilled what will make this life feel meaningful to me uh maybe you already have a passion that you were dying to explore but you never had time because of the situation you're in maybe it's financial problems you don't have enough money to pursue your passion maybe it's you know you know whatever it is uh, what's his name jordan peterson a psychologist his advice to depressed people is like well what is your life situation 
First, do you have a job? And second, do you have friends? Something like that. And if that person did not have a job and did not, did not have friends, that would be the first step. It's like, hey, get your life in order first. Because, you know, if everything is chaotic, you can take whatever pill on how to be, feel better. At the end of the day, if your life is still chaotic, then it's, it's going to be really hard to sustain a degree of happiness. So, so to conclude here, step one, like let go of this um, toxic relationship of the past. Even if it's very difficult, even if they're still like contacting you or whatever, just cut all contact, everything. Okay, this person, uh, from what you've described, uh, <laughs> they got to go to the garbage. Have no shame in doing this. Like, they've made your life miserable. Have no shame in cutting them, like, 100%. First, you made a decision to cut them. Second, start your new life. To start your new life, you might have to first analyze what that depression is about. So then, you know where the problem lies. And then once you've pinned it down... Then you can start uh, growing yourself. You can start, you know, explore this new city, this beautiful city. Even if you don't think it's a beautiful city, I'm sure it is. Like, find a beauty in it. Go out and explore and see what's out there. You know, go to coffee shops, go to classes, go meet people. Cut away this person out of your life. Let it go. If you have to write it down, you know, to let go uh, internally of this baggage, write it down. Second of all, Pinpoint what is making you depressed exactly. And third, start your new life. Find your values, find your purpose, and enjoy. So thank you again, uh, Mr. Golem1996. Uh, give you a shout out to you because, uh, hey, I think you're, you're a badass. I think you're a real badass. I want to thank you for posting this comment. And any of you guys that have any uh, friendships, past friendships, business deals you've had that, that went to shit or something, uh, let me know in the comments. Make sure you go in detail because the more detail I have, the more uh, I can give you detailed uh, advice because if it's very vague, let's say, hey, so my girlfriend's being manipulative. How do I get rid of her? Then there's not much to say about that. It's like, well, you just, you know, you just get rid of her. <laughs> what exactly did they say? How did you reply? How did you feel? How did they feel? If they have any past history, like tell me about their history with you. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to click on subscribe and I'll see you next video.